So guys, I have seen the comments, I have been watching, and I know you guys want to see this video, a stock bike challenge. So we're going to hop in, we're going to be riding the RMZ 450, and it's going to be stock. Just to prove it, like all the good things, you know, suspension, stock. Exhaust, look at this, stock. Everything's going to be stock, okay? We're going to run stock wheels, stock everything, stock this, stock that, the bike is going to handle like a boat. But that's okay, because we're still gonna hop in, do a race, and go for the win. It kinda does actually handle like a boat. It's Glendale, my dudes, we are here, the stock bike challenge. We're gonna go off the gate with these guys and see if we can lap them. Now, before we get into it, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Throw any comments down below, let me know any video suggestions, video ideas, or anything that you guys have. Throw them down below in the comments. Other than that, subscribe to the channel, become a member of the Goon Squad, guys. Turn on those post notifications so that you never miss a video. Let's get into it. So I am going to come in and tune the bike. Yeah, okay, that works. That works for me. Boom, we'll leave it like that. And we should be good to go. Start the race. Let's get into it. We're here, guys. The stock bike challenge. Let's try and pull a whole shot or something on this stock Suzuki. And let's see how this race goes. I honestly feel like I'm not going to notice a huge difference. Wow, these guys are, are going pretty fast, though. I don't think I'm going to notice a huge difference between, you know, this bike and, let's say, wow, okay, that just happened. It'll be interesting to see if I notice a big difference, if I'm not actually able to hit the lines and stuff. I would say, yeah. Right now, the bike does feel kind of slow, but we're also, like, stuck with all the AIs, like, stuck in neutral. This is not going too hot, but the bike definitely feels kind of like a boat. It definitely feels kind of like a boat, so that is not good. I am, what place am I in? 20th, 19th place. This is brutal. Let's go, let's get past these guys, and uh, let's experience the power of the Suzuki, all right? Let's experience how the Suzuki really likes to ride. But you can see right there, like, we're trying to catch up to them. These guys just have the power on their factory bikes. Our, our stock bike is definitely not holding up, but... We just had a rough start, that's all I gotta say. Like a really rough start, for real. It almost feels more like a 250 though. It does, it feels more like a 250 than a 450. That's all I gotta say. Bounce up onto here, bounce off. Can we make the line? Oh, barely. The bike feels like it has no power at all. What I should do is I should actually compare my riding on this bike to the fully kitted Suzuki. Go ahead, customize it, throw an exhaust on it because it's like the one bike in this game that I don't have customized. I definitely do not have it customized. I don't know why, but I should. I should customize it just to see how it, how it rides when it's fully equipped with exhaust, suspension, good tires, everything we need. But this is like fully stock. You guys wanted to see it. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's do it. Let's get her done. So here we are. The stock bike challenge. And we're still in ninth place. So we are making progress. The bike definitely handles a little worse than a fully <laughs> a fully uh, customized bike. Definitely doesn't have the drive and the power and the suspension as well. Like you can tell, you can tell it hasn't been customized. I didn't actually think there would be that much of a difference, but the bike... <laughs> like I said jokingly at the beginning of the video, it kind of does actually handle like a boat. Like it feels like it doesn't want to turn. It feels really slow and sluggish like it doesn't want to uh, accelerate. So the exhaust would help with that. Same with the turning, you know, the suspension and everything come into play when you're trying to turn. Like right now, it's a struggle to make the lines that Usually I struggle to hit those lines on like a fully equipped uh, 250, not on a fully fully kitted 450. Like 450s usually they are baby food. Now, 
I didn't want this race to start off the way it did. Like, as soon as you start off in last place like that, it's going to be a struggle to work your way through the pack and, and pull ahead and pull a big lead and try and actually, like, lap these guys. But we can still try and, you know, get up there, beat Dungey, and just have some fun on the bike. I just feel like I'm actually, like, struggling with some of the sections. And the reason I chose Glendale is because usually, like, this quad right here, Usually that's not that big of a struggle, especially when you land that double perfectly and you're on a 450. You usually make that quad before the finish line easy. These sections, fairly easy to get through. But like here, this line where you drop off of this and then like quad or hit the five or whatever that jump is, like it's almost like impossible. And usually, like I was saying last lap, I struggle on a 250, not, not a 450. I don't know what to do through here either because usually you can get the drive to get up and over that but we're like out here struggling barely making jumps hit the triple and then keep the drive into the finish line okay Dungey, man i still need to get past you i still need to put the pass on you you're up there you're leading i don't want you to be leading this is not how i wanted this video to go i wanted to be leading right away so that we could get out there and absolutely check out on a stock bike, but we are like struggling to catch up to Dungy right now. I'm gonna try and focus, make no mistakes, and uh, get the pass. Get the pass completed. But I don't know though. These guys are shredding. You guys have seen it. I've been struggling this whole race after that brutal start to try and get back into the lead. I've been trying to get into the lead and it's not happening like we've been we've been riding pretty good hitting clean lines a couple mistakes but like nothing too crazy and we are still not ahead of Ryan Dungey now we're gonna pass him here soon I think but if I was on a fully customized bike do you guys think I would have struggled the same to get up here and pass him do you think the stock bike is that much slower or do you think it's just the luck of the race. We had a bad start, like a terrible start to the race. We were on the ground like four times within the first lap. It's been going pretty good since then. It's been going all right since then, I would say. Honestly, the bike, it handles pretty good. And one thing, I might actually run stock brakes from now on because they don't seem to grab as hard. And one thing about like the the Moto Master brakes or, or like the Brembo brakes is they grab really hard and if you lock up your front brake, it kinda sends you into like a, a slide. You get you get sketchy, you lose your front end. But here, like the one section I really noticed it was that like start straight section. Usually you try and lock up your brakes, you end up like washing out the front end, going down or whatever. But with these stock brakes we don't even really have to worry about it because they don't have that stopping power. So what if that's the secret? What if that's the secret, guys? That could be a huge advantage. Rather than using, like, good brakes, just use crappy brakes. It's going to keep your corner speed up and it's going to eliminate the risk. Look, right here. Locking up the brakes. Like, there, I guess I needed to hit them a little earlier. But they don't stop you as good. So you're not going to end up losing the front end. Maybe that's a secret. Maybe that's something to keep in mind, you know. A stock setup might not be too bad for certain things like brakes. But then you kind of lose that stopping power. Like you guys saw I almost blew the corner there. Because stock brakes don't have the grip. You can't stop on a dime. I don't know. It's just things to keep in mind. The little things I've noticed here in this episode. So we're gonna have a couple laps to kind of float around. Uh, the whips and everything are the exact same. Like the whips, the way the bike whips is the exact same. Uh, other than that, like the handling, like I was saying, it kind of handles like a boat. Like just picture driving a boat in water. Like the reaction isn't the best for turning and everything. That's kind of what it feels like. It's kind of slow and sluggish and it just doesn't feel the greatest so if i'm being 100 percent honest with you guys i would have to say that the stock bikes are a lot slower and they put you at a huge disadvantage because 
ever since we passed Dungy, we've been hitting some clean laps. We haven't really made like any mistakes. And he's still right there behind us. So I really do think the exhaust, the suspension, that kind of thing, those are crucial in your setup. If you if you can buy those, or those should be like the first things you try and buy and put on a bike in this game. Don't worry about graphics, don't worry about, you know, brakes. Get your exhaust, get your suspension. Dungy's gonna actually win the race because we crashed. Um, that just happened, yeah. I really do think the, uh, the factory bikes or like a customized bike has a huge advantage. Usually the AIs, even though they're unrealistic, usually they're, th they're not that much of a challenge, but like, Dungy has been keeping us honest. Marv is right there, and it's not like we checked out. So interesting results, guys, some interesting results. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about the stock bike. Should I go ahead and customize a Suzuki? Should I customize a Suzuki so that we have one fully kitted, fully customized to the way we like it? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. And I will catch you in another video. Peace out.